All right, guys, today I got this uh, 2020 Evo by Forest River. It's an entry level unit, but it really is nice. It's not very heavy at all. I think it's 3,400 pounds dry, 4,800 pounds uh, max. So that's gonna be nice and lightweight. Even a Jeep Wrangler can pull it. On the outside, I'm noticing a few things. It is a single axle, as we can see. Um, it's gonna be manual jack, so you're gonna have to get your little drill out or hand pump those. Uh, this does look like it's a power awning though, so that's an upgrade. It's got an LED light fixture underneath that, which is cool. Um, we do have an outside cable hookup, plug-in for lights outside. Um, as you come down here, it does have an LP connect right here, so you could hook a barbecue up, which is nice. Let's see, this is a magnetic latch. Now, if this was super, super cheap, it would be a latch that you would just do, so that's nice. You've got a pass-through, it's pretty big uh, inside there, so that's kind of cool. You got a propane, one battery. This is a manual hand jack, no power tongue, um, but that does cool. You do have a solar hookup up front. So it's gonna be usually 10 amp, or that was 20 amps, so that's good. Truck bed liner right here for rock chips. The front looks good, it's made by Forest River. Forest River does a one year bumper to bumper that it comes with, so this is already expired, just so you know. Um, but you can uh, opt to take a warranty on these um, up to probably six or seven years that we offer. Uh, again, you can see the weight on this guy. Max is at 4830, and then it can hold about 1,500 pounds dry. Don't mind my hands. I have a kitten and a puppy, so they're attacking me all the time. Uh, let's see. As we go around, we got city water connection. You've got your 30 amp right here that's already in there, and then you've got some more hookups. Your drain, super easy and simple to manage. Not too complicated. Put your sewer hose in this back here. Got a spare tire. I'm sure it's a six gallon water heater. It's equipped with a uh, backup camera ready. It doesn't have one, but it is ready. Um, it does have two steps on the outside here. Going in. Ouch. Oh, it's hot. I'll have to do the inside here in a second. Let me see if I can get my shirt to do it. Uh. Okay, here we go. That was hot. Okay. All right, so as we go in, you're going to see it's no carpet, just um, this nice vinyl flooring. Uh, it does have a furnace right here on the wall. Nice deep closet. Spot for shoes. As you come in here, does have a toilet and a little tub, so if you need to like wash your feet off, a dog, plastic toilet, nothing crazy. Has a manual fan. Actually, so you just can open that up. Let's see. I think the battery might be on. We got a little skylight there, no leaks or nothing like that. The fridge is actually a really nice size in this thing. So freezer, it's gonna be uh, propane or electric. It's a six cubic fridge. Got, wow, this is actually really nice for this size. Typically, you're not gonna get three burners. You're not gonna get that big of a stove or uh, fridge. So you got that. You got a drawer already built in, so that's cool. Your furnace is down there. One big sink right here. A microwave. Um, you could do like plate racks in there to help keep that going. Here's your AC, it's by Dometic, which is nice. Um, you do have on this guy, um, your stereo. I'll look and see, I didn't see speakers outside, but we'll double check. Uh, you have a two person booth right here. You're gonna have water heater pump, lights inside, your tank readers right here. Uh, propane, you're on your own. You gotta just go manually do that for yourself. Let's see if there's a spot down here. They've got some shelving. Yep, so you got some different shelves for other things, that's good. You do have plug-in up here. These are just the old school like metal blinds. Looks like your emergency exits, all of these actually pop out, which is actually kind of nice. I like these, they let a lot of air in. So that's nice. And you've got plug-in USB ports next to the bed, a shelf up top for whatever you need. Um, I don't see a TV in here. So if you want a TV in here, you're gonna have to get a uh, mount up here. Then you got your plug-in and all your cable hookups. So teddy bear comfort mattress. And you do have your water tank storage down here. I don't think that's supposed to lift up to be honest with you. I think they might have used that for storage. Maybe it came loose. But you got a little bit of space around the bed. 
on this side too. So cool little unit. I just want to make sure you guys saw it because it's not much to see, but yeah, it is a lot to see. This, um, these poles come down. This does go down so you'd have like a little like kind of like a twin bed there if you needed it. Um, again, just some nice handles. But very simple trailer, but you know, it's in really good condition. I don't even see anything wrong with it, to be honest with you. I don't see any nicks. I don't see any scratches. I think it was used twice of that. So the flooring looks good. It literally looks brand new. Besides maybe you need a wash. That's the only thing. It's got a screen door. So everything's good. The door looks good. It's just so airtight. That's why it's doing that, so. But yeah, look at that, it looks good. All right guys, check it out.